November 2018, I found myself heading back to Mpumalanga with Mbwazi safaris to continue my search for a Roland Ward mountain red buck. I think I've been on no less than 10 hunting trips to this exact same concession. I've seen some incredible rams, but not that ram. On this trip, we came closer than ever. We hadn't been 30 minutes in the field and we were already on a stalk. On to probably two dates, the biggest mountain reed buck I've ever seen in my entire life. There's a reason he's that big, I guess. It's not a bad ram, but it's not... It's like that one that we saw earlier. Yeah. always asking why do I put this nonsense on my face and I believe it does work it does help but 90% of the time 95% of the time when we put this paint on our face good things happen so it's more of a, a ritual good luck situation so yeah beginning of day two going to find my mountain read back again Jeez, I got I drew on probably the biggest mountain reed buck I've ever seen yesterday, but he was just a little bit too clever for us. So, you know, I looked at him again this morning and got a couple of different areas and try to find some other ones too. Morning of day two, I was left thinking, how on earth am I going to beat what happened the day before? I'm going to fall a bit. Yes, please. No, wait, stop. It's funny how hunting works, because if I thought the ram on day one was big, 30 minutes into day two, I think we saw another ram, arguably the same size, if not even bigger, than the ram on day one. The rest of day two was basically just spent glassing hillsides, driving around, 
seeing mountain reedbuck rams stalking in, getting to within shooting range, and even having the ability to shoot them. They just weren't what I was looking for. So the opportunity was consistently there. I just couldn't find that ram. Everyone has their views on trophy hunting. And I think it's been very misconstrued in a way. And I mean, if you're trophy hunting, it is so much more difficult than just going out and shooting for the freezer. Because you're looking for one specific animal. And when you are hell bent on getting one specific animal on 7,000 hectares and passing up numerous other trophies, specimens that'll pass for a good trophy but not you know get you that once in a lifetime ramp and coming home from a hunting trip empty-handed isn't a failure of a trip it's a character builder you can be in position all the odds can be in your favor everything can seem perfect but when it comes to that moment of truth if that's not the right animal you're looking for it's not the right animal you're looking for you've got to be able to hold off and keep looking for that one trophy of a lifetime Always be mindful of your footing. Hunting is full of thrills and sports. <laughs> Day three, we were hard at it again. Except no gigantic rams as we saw on day one and two. Plenty stalks that never materialized. We had seen a bachelor herd of impala rams with five or six what they would like to call an Afrikaans pen copper or spike rams, very young rams, a couple of sub-adult rams and then there was two or three decent rams and but at last light on day three everything just looked perfect so I jumped off the lane cruiser and things started coming together really quickly. Uh, that's it, day three. We go home tomorrow morning. Damn, that was so close. Trophy hunting. Hated by many, also loved by many. What I wanted to try to get across with this episode is... Anti-hunters will be so quick to judge on a trophy hunter and say, Oh, you're killing the prime trophies and, you know, you're taking away the bloodline to an extent that's what they can lead towards. But if you look in this episode, every single one of the really big rams that I've been terming lifetime rams were by themselves. They went with a herd. 
They didn't have use with them or young with them. So, in essence, trophy hunting is actually a good thing. Because you're not taking off the younger and the more dominant rams and the herd rams. You're taking off the older rams. Those older rams that have been pushed out of the small herds and away from the ewes are the biggest rams. 95% of the time at least. That's just a bit of food for thought. Concluding this trip, incredible time out in the field, didn't get anything, came extremely close numerous times, got the closest to an animal that I've ever got on a walk and stalk, which is making memories that you've never had before. And it's more than just killing and hunting. It's about making memories and loving the outdoors. In three days we covered a distance of 220 kilometers and 7,000 hectares combined between driving and walking. I learned things, I made mistakes as we all do. However, we learn from those mistakes which make us better hunters. I want to show more than just the kill. The blood, the goal, the kill shots. The hero shots as some like to call it. Strive for ethics. I've said it many times before. But I think that is the most important out of all. Is doing what we do ethically. Humanely. Things do go wrong. That's true. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna try and hide that. But if everyone as hunters does their best to portray ethical hunting and conservation, our sport of hunting will go to new heights that it's never been before. <laughs>